In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this out of the bound effect, a photo cropped, but you can see that the hair is popping out of the frame and we are going to do everything in Canva. I'm going to show you two different styles, one with the round frame and the other one with a more creative shape. I recommend you stay until the end so that you don't miss any single detail of the process. You can follow this tutorial if you have a Canva Pro account, that is the paid version of Canva, although if you have a Canva free account and you still want to achieve this effect, I will leave a link in the description of this video so you can enjoy 30 days of Canva Pro without any cost. If you have a Canva Pro account, you can also follow this tutorial from your mobile phone using the browser, not the app, because you cannot follow these steps or this process through the app, use a browser. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Muñoz, I am a Canva certified creative and also an online instructor. If this is the first time visiting this channel, I suggest you subscribe because we upload tutorials every week that are going to help you a lot. And remember to hit the bell button to receive a notification every time we upload a new tutorial. Now, are you ready for this tutorial? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so we are here on my Canva account and for this trick you can use either your own photos or you can use Canva's uh, stock library. So for the first example, I'm going to use a photo of mine that I have already uploaded to Canva. So this is the one that I'm going to use. And the first step is to duplicate your photo. So let's go here, duplicate the photo. And now I'm going to use one of the features of Canva Pro. I'm going to select one of these photos and go here to effects. I'm going to remove the background with this option background remover. Okay, so Canva already removed the background of this photo. And the next step is to go here to elements and select one of these frames. So if you go down here, you will see the frame section. So we are going to click here on see all so that you can see all the different frames that Canva offers us. For this first example, I'm going to use the round or circular one. Let's use this one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and position it around here and then change the position backward and backward. Let's close this window and now I'm going to position the photo with the background inside the frame, okay? And now, uh, as you can see, my photo, uh, the head, it's still inside the frame, so I need to adjust a tiny bit so my head is out of the frame. And if your photo is maybe too small or you cannot drag it upwards so the head sticks out of the frame, in the second step of this tutorial, the second trick, I will show you how to uh, take the or make the head pop out of the frame. Okay, so now uh, what I need to do is to position this second picture, the one with the background, on top of this frame. But as you can see, if I position the photo on top of this frame, Canva or the frame is kind of like sucking the photo inside the frame. So how do we do for this not to happen? What I'm going to do is to press control key and then drag the picture without the background on top of the frame. So now that I'm pressing control, uh, the frame is not sucking the photo inside. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to make the photo um, match the photo that is behind or that is inside the frame. So two, the two photos need to be perfectly aligned one with the other and to make this effect really uh, look nice, I need to add some transparency to the photo that is in front, the one that has no background. And now I need to play with a lot of patience and detail. I need to pay a lot of uh, attention to the detail and try to position the photo just in front of the other one. And you will see 
uh, that is perfectly aligned when the photo looks perfect. It doesn't look kind of um, uh, displaced, but it looks perfect. So I think I just nailed it <laughs> really quick. And I'm going to uh, add some more transparency. Actually, remove the transparency. You need to uh, bring it to 100 again. And now, as you can see, my hand and part of my body is also popping out of the picture, which is uh, not very aesthetic. So I just need to crop this part of the photo like this. And voila, we have our effect. And before going to the second part of this tutorial, if you want to learn more advanced Canva tricks, you can take our 10 Canva courses for free. I will leave a video here and a link below in case you are interested in learning more. Okay, and for the second part of this tutorial, we are going to create the same effect with a different shape. I, I will say a more creative uh, shape. Okay, so now let's add a new page. And for this example, I'm going to use the photo library of Canva. I'm not going to use one of my photos because I want to show you that they also have really nice stock library. So if you want to use one of these photos or this exact same photo, you can either type the name of the photo to be able to find it, or you can also try to use some of these keywords together to find these kind of photos. What I did to find them is to actually, uh, let me see, I typed this, this brand code, and then I typed Blossom, like this. So you can find all these amazing photos that look really great with this effect. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to duplicate this photo. Now I'm going to remove the background of one of them. Okay, so Canva already did its magic. I have one of these photos without the background and let's go back to the elements. I already have here all the frames and for this second example, I'm going to use this uh, frame right here. I really like the shape and I think it can add something creative to this effect. Okay, so let's bring this photo inside the frame. And as I already mentioned, if you, if you cannot bring your photo up in order to have the head out of the frame, let's just make it bigger. So the head is popping out and I think this is going to look nice, maybe just a tiny bit uh, more. Let's uh, crop it. And now let's do the same uh, effect or the same process as before. Let's close here this window. And I'm going to position the photo on top, as you can see here. And to... Um, be more precise, I'm going to get closer, add some transparency to the photo on top, but I think I also nailed it again. Guys, I cannot believe this. It's really on top of the other one. Yes, okay, so I think this was uh, really good luck. And let's crop the part of the body that is uh, kind of like popping out here, I think it's doesn't look very nice and voila we are done i think this uh, frame actually adds something very very interesting to this effect and guys if you like this tutorial remember to leave it a like if i see that you enjoyed this kind of uh, tutorial or this kind of tricks i think i can create a series of videos called can you canva it here on youtube if you ever see a design on internet or on the streets, you know, like a big banner or something and you are wondering, can you create this design in Canva? You can actually maybe take a photo or a screenshot of the design and leave it in our Facebook group. I think that's the easiest way for me to see the designs that you are wondering, oh, can we create this in Canva? 
and I can actually try to reproduce these designs here on a tutorial. You can also leave your suggestions for new tutorials in the comments down below. You know that we are always hanging out there and we create tutorials that you are asking for. On the other hand, if you want to learn more about Canva, I'm going to leave some tutorials right here that I think are going to help you a lot. And if you want to support us so that we can create more tutorials for you, subscribe by clicking on the button that I'm going to leave right here. That's all for now. I wish you a nice day and I see you in the next tutorial. Bye.